Yeah, I think uh, in the, the match as a whole, I'm really pleased um, to execute the, the game plan. Uh, we know Swallows are really well-structured teams in terms of how they attack, how they defend. Um, and I think uh, a credit to the players to be able to then execute uh, what we want in defense, how high press uh, uh, and in attack as well, finding the spaces uh, uh, we identified. Um, unfortunately, not getting uh, more goals, but uh, um, overall, uh, really pleased. Thank you, Sister Andy. Uh, afternoon, Coach. Congratulations on your win. Uh, can you please talk about uh, Nzakoma Kubela? What was his role today, and are you impressed with his performance today? Thank you. Yeah, um, never die. Um, um, came into the team and, and fitted in so well in terms of the group, in terms of the cohesion with the players. Uh, we know he's able to play in, in different positions and uh, um, very key in, in terms of executing our high press uh, when we don't have the ball and really smart in, in, in trying to find the spaces uh, um, what the opponent left, uh, whether it's between the lines, whether it's uh, picking the ball up uh, in a deeper position and then carrying it uh, to the final third. Um, so really happy with his contribution. Uh, it's never easy coming in. Uh, he started a bit uh, slow with his first uh, two actions, but uh, immediately settled in. That shows a really a strong character to be able to have no fear. Uh, making your debut for Orlando Pirates, the first two actions not going well, and then bouncing back to be able to have such a performance. So, uh, credit to him. Uh, he has to keep his feet on the ground, though. Uh, it's it's one it's one uh, game, um, and uh, we expect so much much more from him uh, once he's really fit. We know in terms of his match minutes what uh, his maximum was. He went a little bit over, um, but we have an entire week uh, to prepare uh, for the next game. Congrats on the win. Thanks, David. Um, I just wanted to ask, uh, you know, the goal came very late. Um, does the win, you know, take a little bit of pressure off your shoulders from you and, and Coach Manla? Because you started obviously with two draws, another draw maybe would have raised the pressure on, on you guys, you know, as, as coaches. And the second question, um, I wanted to find out, Tembi uh, uh, Nkosi Lodge, there was no update yesterday on the website about him. You know, can you maybe just uh, tell us um, what's his situation? Thank you. I think there's uh, in every match you play, uh, you you uh, you have that pressure as a coach. Um, we know that we we needed the three points, uh, but more importantly, uh, we needed the performance. Um, it's a process uh, uh, in terms of the uh, the point at where the squad is in. Uh, you know, you lose a coach and you have to stabilize. You have to um, look at uh, what was good uh, in the past and what what are the priorities to. Uh, to fix uh, and to improve upon. So, uh, yes, the goal came late, uh, but we knew in the second half, uh, Swallows has a has a trend that they uh, uh, bring on two new wingers uh, and that then opens up the game. It was just for us waiting for that moment to be able to then impact our subs, uh, to be able to impact the game. Uh, yes, uh, uh, your next question is uh, Lodge. Uh, we won't see him for the rest of the year. with a long-term injury. Uh, thank you again, Sir Tandy. Uh, Coach Fadlu, Tukhofa uh, Somabasa seems like he always has a goal in him. How far is he from, from starting matches? Thank you. Yeah, um, he was cleared uh, um, on the 14th, uh, our first match against Swallows. <clears throat> so he's still in the process of going through his um, pre-season, uh, so to say. Uh, building him up uh, on his individual periodization plan. Uh, um, but so far, he's, he's doing well. Um, we know he cannot uh, yet uh, uh, complete the 90 minutes in terms of the intensity that we want. Uh, but a step-by-step -step for him. Uh, um, uh, yes, he always has a goal in him. Um, he's a different type of striker uh, to what we have. Uh, um, and, uh, you know, he's, he's always in the right place at the right time. Those uh, that, that instinct, that uh, smelling... At uh, the moment, being in the right uh, position, not a lot of players has, uh, uh, but he has it. Um, happy Jailer. It was his 400th game for the club. And I think he won the man of the match, if I'm not mistaken. You know, just maybe a comment on his performance and how much he means for Orlando Pirates. Thanks. Yeah, um, Happy Jailer, uh, uh, when he performs uh, like this and is, is consistent in, in every game he plays, uh, um, um, that's 
only one of his qualities or the, the, the other qualities, what you do not see is, is in the change room, is managing uh, the new players, is keeping the, the group together. Uh, he does so much uh, for the squad um, behind the scenes, uh, a, a true captain, a true leader, uh, born with that uh, natural uh, instincts of, of, of being a leader and will be a, a top coach one day as well, uh, able to understand the game, able to, to be our voice on the, on the, on the pitch uh, when we change the structure, where we, we, we speak about uh, to him uh, that uh, perhaps in this minute we might change the structure or we might change our press somehow or which areas we want to build up through, how the opponent is suddenly pressing. And he's our voice on the pitch. So uh, a, a huge uh, congratulations to him, not only the footballer, but uh, a man as well. Uh, I, had a, I had a chat with him uh, uh, reaching his 400th game and with us playing uh, uh, close to 50 games uh, 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 a season, uh, by the end of next season, he could reach 500. So uh, really huge congratulations to him and uh, um, a huge, huge asset for the club uh, on and off the pitch. Uh, coach, how important is this win uh, for Orlando Pirates for, for momentum? you know, going forward. Thank you. Yeah, I said it before, we're in the process of, of trying to fix, fix the team. Uh, and most important is the, is the performance. If we can continue to perform uh, this way, uh, more fluidity in our attack, more shots at goal, more domination in terms of from start to finish. We are able to do it for a certain uh, period of time, uh, the type of uh, football, the type of dominance we want to have. Uh, so, so that is what we, we're zooming out and looking at the bigger picture in, in, in where we want to go. Of course, the, the result is, uh, gives you that, that extra boost, gives you that uh, momentum uh, to go into the next game. Um, uh, so yeah, we take it, but not only getting too carried away with a win. Uh, we didn't get too upset or, or too concerned where we didn't get the, the wins in the first two games. Uh, knowing that uh, we're looking at the bigger picture, knowing, knowing we're looking at the process. So uh, we have to keep our uh, feet on the ground and, and still look and, and see where we can improve uh, going into the next matches.